Let me tell you what separates white women from the black women. Let me tell you one thing that separates white women from black women. Observation. Black women want their men to have it all before she commits. The white woman only needs to see the potential and the commitment. I'm going to say it again. The black woman tends to want her man to have it all before she commits. The white woman don't need her man to have it all. She just needs to see his potential. And the white woman will back him and support him and ride with him and help develop him until he gets it all. Welcome to the S Banks and JD Network podcast. I'm your host, JD, and I'm joined with my co-host, S Banks. And today we're talking about here's why you never build a man up. Never, ever build a man up. Never, ever. Now people are thinking, what would you mean? Well, we're going to tell you. Listen to the podcast throughout. Yes. <laughs> and let me warn you, man. I'm going to say this. Trigger alert, but <laughs> be open-minded, be open-minded. You know, we have two clips for you today. One is of, of um, Dr. Umar. The other is an, another guy. We ain't going to tell you what happens. But the first clip, mm -hmm. very interesting. And I think that we definitely need to get that conversation started. I don't want to spoil it. I just want to play the clip and yeah. dive right in. Then we'll come back and we'll provide you with our thoughts. So this is like about a four minute clip, but interesting. But without further delay, let's get right to it. Here's clip number one. Let me tell you what separates white women from the black women. Let me tell you one thing that separates white women from black women. Observation. Black women want their men to have it all before she commits. The white woman only needs to see the potential and the commitment. I'm going to say it again. The black woman tends to want her man to have it all before she commits. The white woman don't need her man to have it all. She just needs to see his potential. And the white woman will back him and support him and ride with him and help develop him until he gets it all. See, one of the things black women got to stop doing, not all of you, some of you, not all of you, some of you. When you see a man who ain't got it, but he got the potential and he committed to getting it. Commit at that time and ride with him. If you got to sign a contract to say that you guys are co-creators of every idea he comes up with, then make him sign a contract if you're afraid he's going to leave you once he makes it big. But the white woman will get with a broke ass black man with potential. The white woman will get with a broke ass black man with potential. The white woman will see the potential in the black man at 21 years old and she will ride with him until he fulfills his dream and wife him up. Black woman, y'all said you got to have it all. The house, the car, the degrees, the job, the business, the education. And y'all going to keep on losing if you keep expecting black men to get all this and then hand it over to you on the silver platter. It's not realistic. It's too hard out here. It's not realistic. Black woman, the next time you see a man with potential who's serious about earning his goals, next time you come across a man with potential who is dedicated to making it, 
but he ain't got all the money. He ain't got the car. But you can clearly see he got a serious plan. And if he make it, we going to be nice. You better think about walking with him. You got to get out of this this uh, housewives mentality. Too many black women have this housewives mentality. Too many black women got this housewives mentality, this super materialistic, perfect vision of what he got to come to the table with. You're not going to get no man like that. Find a brother with potential until it pay off. Stop trying to get ready-made husbands. Stop trying to get ready-made perfect scenarios. Ride with the good one. Because guess what? A lot of these black men that these white women got, a lot of these black men that these white women got, they got them when you were not paying attention to them. See, he was with the white girl before he got his law license. He was with the white girl before he got his medical license. He was with the white girl before he made $100 million in real estate. He was with the white girl before he opened that Fortune 500 country co company. She was with him when he was struggling, but she saw the potential. Black women have to stop this thing that says you got to have it all. You got to show up on my doorstep with all boxes checked. Stop it, black woman. You're selling yourself short. Stop it. Whoa. Um, there was a lot said in that clip. There was a lot. There's a lot to unpack. Mm -hmm. There is. First things first. I've wrote some notes. So you know this is serious. And again, during the conversation, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't take it personally, but these things, these types of conversations need to be had. Mm -hmm. True. Was there any truth to what he said? What do you think? What's your opinion? Um, yes. Um, mm. I know for a fact that <laughs> many black women are not, they're not going to like what was said in this video or what Dr. Umar said, but this is a situation or a conversation where as black women we need to listen before reacting we need to open our ears and let's not and let me let me highlight something not all he said that also yeah. and it's a shame that whenever we people are having a conversation mm -hmm. about maybe sensitive topics or whatever right you get people well, not all women, I shouldn't have to always explain that, but let me highlight that mm -hmm. in this conversation. We're not talking about all. No. Dr. Umar mentioned not all. Exactly. But we are saying for the most part, or what we've all, or most of us have experienced, mm -hmm. what most of us have experienced is that we're from the UK. Yeah. He's from America. Mm -hmm. It's funny in the black community, whether that in the West, let's say that, right? I would think I think that most men would agree to that, that the dude has to be ready made. Mm -hmm. Some may disagree and you're welcome to your putting your comments in the comment section Definitely. and giving your thoughts. This is not targeted at no at, one. Exactly. No mm -hmm. one personally. But what I'm saying is that. I would sway to agreeing with what he said. Mm -hmm. Do you concur or do you disagree? Um. <clears throat> I don't, I can't say I disagree with anything he said, mm. honestly. Um, do black women want their men to have it all before getting together? I hear that a lot, honestly. <laughs> exactly. I do. I can't say I don't because I'll be lying. Mm. I hear black women say these sort of things all the time. They want mm. a ready-made uh, ready man. They want him to already have his six figures, already have a nice house, have how many cars, um, got six pack. Everything has so to be done. He has prior. to. He has to have the six sixes, right? Mm -hmm. But let me say this, right? Are black women do they want only the black man to be ready made? And when it comes to an average or let's mm -hmm. just say a mediocre white guy or other, mm -hmm. does he need to be ready made? Do you know what? That's a great question. Yeah. A really good question. And yeah. 
So yes, I, yes explain your yes. It's my clearly. yes so is she, to yeah. the black woman would bypass many things with other race um, of men. Yeah, but the black man has to be put together. He has to jump through, jump over all kind of hoops, hurdles. Exactly. <laughs> okay, but with other races, they are more lenient. So he doesn't have to be ready made. He doesn't have to have certain things going for him and yada yada yada. He they they more see them for who they are and what they're doing at that time and accepting to their situation in that moment. But with when it comes to black men, it's a thing of nah, if you ain't got such and such, <laughs> I'm not effing with you. Exactly. Don't women in general, right? Mm-hmm. Don't they wait for the guys they wait at the end of the finish line and they wait for the winner or the winners yeah that's what women do right Mm -hmm. so in saying that this means that a lot of women are materialistic and they're not really loyal that's because if you if you're waiting you're not you're not willing to ride with a man right yeah and i am going to touch on building with a man and building a man up Mm -hmm. we will touch on some of that later on down the podcast right but what what other points stood out to you in this because as, as a female this is going at you mm-hmm. i'm just gonna react but i want and i'm gonna pick your brain today okay <laughs> so what's your thoughts um i have a few questions to ask and mm-hmm. um, this is to ask the audience and even you can even give your feedback on what you think as well yeah um and my first question is were white women taught from the beginning to get a man from young? So Dr. Uma mentions that white women will get a man from when he is roughly maybe in his early 20s. She may be most likely a bit younger than him. Mm-hmm. But the fact is you got with your man from younger and built together to mm. do your thing when you're older. Now, are white women taught that that's what you have to do from the get-go and our black women taught the same thing or i think i hear you right but you have to look at it from a different perspective i think with other cultures they're taught to value their men Mm -hmm. now you're saying get a man but i think other cultures teach their women to value the men Mm -hmm. and white women and other races spanish asian Mm -hmm. whatever right do those women belong to those men yes (laughs) because those men don't need to jump through no hoops let me segue into one of my notes right a lot of black women pass up a lot of good men because they might be square they might be boring they might be average they might even be geeky right Mm -hmm. might be interested in comics and whatever right they're not the pookies and rare rage right but that dude that those women have in their um beta male orbit right and those dudes may not be beta because i would say for me personally right i'm a little bit geeky i like marvel i like all those comics and stuff mm-hmm. i don't walk around with comics in my back pocket no <laughs> but i i know about all of those things or whatever or i might be interested in i don't know let's say video games growing up but at least I was able to play both sides of the fence Mm -hmm. where I knew the cool kids also being a cool kid. And at the same time being a bit geeky, I had a good balance. But in saying that I saw (laughs) what they done to those geeky kids. Mm -hmm. And now those geek, a lot of those geeky kids are running the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you want the dude. Yeah. It's usually how it works out. Look at, um, what's his name? The um the singer or rapper, whatever you want the artist. Let me call him an artist. Childish Gambino. Now, I think his name is second name's Glover or something like that, right? He's with a white woman now. And he would be considered to be the effeminate kind of guy, the geeky kind of guy, the guy that's different. Most black women, or for him growing up, w- black women ain't checking for men like him. Mm-hmm. But now he's successful. Now it's like, oh, there's all the shaming. Why are you with a white woman? But hold up. It shouldn't bother you because you don't want him anyway. Oh, only when he's successful. Yeah. That's when you want him. See, that's what the problem is, though. Mm. 
I think a lot of women are not willing to build with a man from the beginning, just like with um what Dr. Umar said, um, building with him, um, seeing his potential, working at it, helping him with his dreams, his goals, to get him to that space to where he is making money mm-hmm. and becomes financially wealthy and everything you want at the end of the day. And a lot of women do not have the time, patience, effort, or whatever else you want to call it. They just don't want to do that. They want a guy that is finished. The finished product. And has already gone past the finished line. And is like, oh yeah, look but at me. A man. Okay, men are merit based. Mm-hmm. They level up over time. Yes. Now, it's very rare you're going to find a dude that's under 30 leveled up. Generally, a man starts to learn life about 35 upwards. Mm-hmm. But... It works in kind of reverse for the woman. Your, um, where your peak is, is when you're young, you know, 18 to I'd say 25, for example, Mm -hmm. some women, you know, but generally speaking, some women can go higher, but generally speaking, that's usually the case, right? But why is it that women of other races can see the good qualities in a man when he's young and say, Hey, you know what? He's got the potential of greatness. Yeah. They look for the character, the qualities, but generally speaking, not all, but when you speak to black women, he's got to have, everything has to be, it's all materialistic, superficial things that when you think about it, when you break it down to the nuts and bolts, it don't mean nothing where a white woman will say, this dude has integrity. Mm -hmm. He's funny. He's cool. He's ambitious. He's a great leader. And I want to be a great follower. Mm -hmm. Becky clocked that from young. Now put in the comments if you disagree with this, and I know it might be triggering to Mm -hmm. some, it's the conversation. I have a question from what you just said. Yeah. Now, could you say that there's a possibility? I'm not saying this is true or not true. It's a question. So my question is, you see, you're talking about a lot of women, a lot of black women um, are quite materialistic. Um, they want the finer things in life and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And they want the man to provide that to them. Yeah. Um, where, as you're saying, the white woman would kind of looks past that sort of thing and looks at the man. She for doesn't look he past is. it. She's, she, she knows what's of quality, but yeah. Yes. So I'm not saying look past because she yeah, still yeah, wants that I too. To We're all females that. and yeah. we want all of that stuff. But I'm saying, um, generally speaking, we know that white people mm-hmm. kind of have the finer things already they've experienced it already in the last so then it's I wonder why really important <laughs> I wonder why so yeah. where <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah black women have kind of more been or their parents have been poor sort of things struggling can't mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. get anything haven't experienced mm-hmm. life properly sort of thing yeah and so then it's kind of made them materialistic it's like I want all of this thing so I've never had it and I want a man to pro- be yeah. able to provide. So then you kind of forget about the guy being, you know, things that you said as in. I, I hear what you're saying. Where depending on your environment, lifestyle, how you've been brought up, mm-hmm. you view. I see what you're saying. But why is it that the women that came before us that mm-hmm. had it way worse mm-hmm. than millennials, zennials, why is it that through all kind of slavery listen they had a hard time Mm -hmm. why were they still married why did they still value their men even when those men Mm -hmm. had families across the street (laughs) those women held frame they did um i think it's slightly different sorry to cut you um throughout generations and generations it does Mm -hmm. change Mm. uh, here and there so I'm going to definitely add like things like social media and stuff like that into it. Yeah. Because say like Insta and all the them things, people tend to put up a persona of how their lives are. Living their in, best lie. Exactly. Yeah. So then they're showing all the finer things in life and yeah, I'm doing this and my Chanel bag and whatever else, going to bars and mm. fancy restaurants or whatever. So then would you say that, social media is a big influence on the women of today as to why yeah. they think like that. Yeah, I think social media 
definitely plays a role in the environment and the culture of women today and modern women their concepts of traditionalism boy <laughs> but let me switch gears a little bit mm -hmm. now we spoke about white women going for black men right mm -hmm. and seeing the potential of and building off that but why is it when for example there was a the was it the new york post and the divestors and whoever don't know who the divestors are or the swirlers they're black women that prefer white men why is it when one black woman goes for a white man it's like yes sis mm -hmm, i need to get me one when when a black man goes for a white woman mm -hmm. all kind of shaming so it's glorified when a black woman does it the hypocrisy but then it's sign language and it's so horrible mm -hmm. when a black man does it now a lot of men will agree with me on this i don't mm -hmm. want to put words or batteries in anyone's back but Man, them, you know what I'm talking about. And ladies that are rational do know what I'm talking about as well. Women, you, you say you say you got like Serena Williams, for example, and she goes for a white man. And she would, she would go for, let's say, for I'm not saying this is her case, but generally speaking, black woman would go for an average white dude and glorify him. Mm -hmm. Other women be like, yes, go sis. When it's a black man. <laughs> Could you say it's to do with like, they see white men to be better than them? So then it's sort of like a, like, <laughs> it's sort of like a um, master sort of situation. And the black guy is seen as less okay. than them. It, okay. So then, I, it, it does come down to that. When mommy was buying you them little white Barbies and Cindy's mm -hmm. and Ken, I mean, little Ken doll, mm -hmm. I know this from personal experiences, right? So, when mommy bought her daughters, Barbie and Cindy, and there was a Ken to go, Ken was the highest value man. Mm -hmm. You couldn't put a black man beside that. No way. So then secretly you're conditioning your little daughter to believe that the white man is it's the ish. Yeah. So then my thing is this. In our culture, our women are taught to be better than black men. Mm hmm so then if he Fs up, I expect the worst. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe I'm touching some nerves in this one. But the truth hurts. Mm -hmm. And put in the comments if you agree or you disagree. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Yep. What else do you want to add? Um, I have uh, one or two more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, this question is, what's more important to black women? A degree or a husband okay so people can put in the comments <laughs> ladies put in the comments fellas what do you think as well do black women more you know put more effort time energy you know into getting their mm -hmm. degree yeah. over working on their personal lives and trying to find a husband to build with have children with settle yeah. down with what's your See, the thoughts? thing is this right yeah Okay, people put in the comments what your thoughts are with that, right? My thing on that is this. Data, statistics show black women. I would say modern women, but let's talk about black women in particular. Of course, they put more effort and everything into their jobs, degrees, than they do a relationship and building a family. That's obvious. Data shows this. This is not my opinion. This is facts. Mm -hmm. So, of course... They are more respectful to their boss at work. How are you more respectful to your boss at work than a man that you come home to that is providing for that you? does everything. Giving you, you the four Ps and everything else. Giving you great, a great life, kids and happiness. You're booking family holidays. You're giving him your womb. But you show more love to the boss at work. Well, ladies, you shouldn't be doing I that. I think women should treat relationships like their jobs and degrees and speak to their black men the same way they speak to white people. Mm -hmm. Just some of my thoughts, but not to sway from the topic. You ask some women, what do you bring to the table? You're not allowed to ask that because the black woman believes 
And I'm generally speaking mm -hmm. that she is better than the black man. So who are you to ask me what I bring to the table? You don't qualify. I qualify you. Mm. Stop me if I'm wrong. Mm. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> what you, what's your thoughts on that? Give me some of your points and you know, we'll close out. Okay. Um... <laughs> This is another question, and I know mm. you're going to bring up data in this one as well. Mm -hmm. I think we was looking at it earlier today, in fact. But this is my question. Are black women more likely to end relationships for pretty much, you know, not much reason why they just end their relationships? Um, do you understand my question, actually? But we know that women in general in relationships because they're not happy and if you're speaking about black women in particular a black woman's marriage lasts about five years mm -hmm. and then she applies for divorce her no fault divorce because she's unhappy and we're now seeing through data and this is some of the situation that it's not that she wasn't happy it's because she was bored mm -hmm. but nonetheless black men are for the most part 80% of black people are together. Black men are going for black women. Mm -hmm. There's more black men that are married to black women than women staying in relationships. Yes. So the problem is our women are leaving. Yes. For little less than nothing. But when it comes to the black man, she's a boss B. People was all up in arms over the Cam Newington thing or whatever, right? But my thing is this. If a white if a white man said it, I think it'll be a different story. And what's her name? Tashina Arnold, right? The woman on Everybody um, Hates Chris. Mm -hmm. It's that old school show. People know who I'm talking about mm -hmm. anyway. She said, how can black women um, basically assist in stopping black men being emasculated? Mm -hmm. Black women were up in arms over that. I don't see why. Now, people that want to build up the... Or build back the community. Mm -hmm. God damn. You would have you lost hope. Now when I lost hope. In that sense is. When I saw some of the comments. Mm -hmm. a man, Cam, Newton, Cam Newton said. Oh this is my preference in a woman. No one to be quiet. He wants a woman that's traditional. Yeah. Then you had white people. White men. Trying to tell us. After they effed us up. Trying to tell us how we should do. What we should do. Stay over there. You effed us up. It's the truth. Uh, I do think. Don't forget to like, in, share and subscribe. <laughs> I do think in some situations, people kind of need to hold their tongue because if we're honest, it's like if certain situations didn't happen, like slavery and everything else, then it would be a total different dynamic in this world. But because it did happen, I think certain people do need to kind of hold their tongue on their opinion on that. Mm. Because, you know, if that wasn't the case, then you couldn't really say that, could you? I hear you. I hear you. So, let's touch on the last point. Then we're going to move to the next clip. What do you think the difference is between building with a man and building a man up? In your opinion, as a female. Okay. Building with a man. And building a man up. Building with a man is, for me, you, okay, typically I would say you've met him from younger. Okay. Um, you give go me a, through. Give, paint me a picture. Give me the scenario. <laughs> you go through. Pretend it was yourself. Let's go on. Okay. You go through. Okay. You meet him from young. Okay. Let's um, say 21 years old. Yeah. Could say that. Okay. Um, you... I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. So you meet him from young. <laughs> you meet him from young. You build with him. So say his, he wants to do certain he things. He doesn't have much. Yeah. You both don't have much at a certain yeah. point. But um, a woman expects a man to have more than she has. Yeah, we do. She comes with youth, fertility mm -hmm. and beauty. Yes. Some of them come with beauty. But, no, but anyway. that's, what, that's what she's yeah. generally supposed to come with. So, okay. Yes. Yeah, so. so I'm just filling in the blanks of this story. But yeah. <laughs> Um, where was I? So yes, um, you both don't really have much when you're younger. Yeah. 
So then you have to work with each other and help each other to build each other up. Um, I'm going to disagree with that part, but go on. I want you to emphasize on the man. Okay. How does a woman build with a man and how does a woman build a man up? You're talking about two people, young people, yada, 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 swaying from the point. So how does, the, let's start with the first one. How does a woman build a man up, which she should never do? But how does that happen? Um, right now, I can't answer that question. Okay. Because my mind's kind of gone blank. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe you don't understand the question properly. I think I do, but it's just not coming okay, to okay. me right now. That's your assignment. <laughs> your assignment is to think about that and then come back to it. Come back to it, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let me say this, right? Building with a man. Let's highlight off of um, what Dr. Umar said. She sees the potential in the guy Mm -hmm. from young. He hasn't got himself fully together yet. She's growing with him. So she's inspiring. Women are supposed to be inspirational to their men. Yes. So then, I don't know if you want to to continue. Or do you want to continue? Yes, women are supposed to be inspirational to their men. Um, You should um, help him. Okay, you say like he wants to do things in his life as in career or a job or yeah. his own business. He has a hard so, grind. Yeah, so yeah. you have to hard, he has to hard grind, mm-hmm. but he wants you to help him. No, he doesn't with, want you to help him. He just wants to know that he has a safety net. He doesn't want you to help him. Not necessarily. He, he got it all by himself, mm-hmm. but he wants to know that the support is there. So Yeah, so that's what I mean degree, by help him. Be from a man's perspective. Mm-hmm. If you've got a degree, you're helpful, you're useful, be useful to your man, mm-hmm. right? So then... If I want to work on a business, you're working in wherever you're working, right? Mm -hmm. You may be making more money than me. So I'm going to say to you, hear what? You work for this company for the next three years while I work behind the scenes on this vision that I have. You're inspiring me, telling me, go, go, go. You're my, you're my number one cheerleader. And then you're not, I say to you, you make more money. You got to pay this portion of the bills. Mm -hmm. You say, okay, honey, that's fine. You're not looking down your nose at me. And we build a plan and we say, okay, cool. After the ne- after year two, I'm going to need you to quit that job and come work for me. Use your expertise so we can build. This is how we build communities. Mm-hmm. Dr. Umar emphasized on if you feel he's going to leave you, then you better sign contracts in regards to, oh, this was my idea. I was part of blah 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 Mm -hmm. so that woman is making more money than him she's down with him she's supportive of him she's down with the cause to help him to help herself so they can build together as a family unit they don't even have kids yet so then that woman is supportive why would he leave that's kind of stupid we can talk about cheating which we go and do in the next clip but even if he cheats on you he ain't leaving you Mm -hmm. the other woman's just the other chick he ain't leaving you because you were down from the rip. Now, what you get with, with some women is building a man up where he's low value, no frills. He's that guy, right? So then I'm going to take him knowing if he F's up so, people's going to look at me and say, well, <laughs> it's only him. Of course he's going to F up. Like, think about, if ladies, think about if you have a son, right? And he's young, he wants mommy's help. As he gets older, masculine energy, the male pushes back. So when you were taking him to school, at a point he's young, okay, mommy, take me to school. As he gets older, mommy, I don't want to, like, I'm don't okay. Be seen with you, yeah. And then you try to pour into him your input. But then as a man, he wants to kind of do it for himself. Mm-hmm. So then what you're doing is your mommy in this dude. So of course, when you put, when you level this guy up, he might use you. Some guys don't have a pot to piss in. That's true. So, of course, when he levels himself up, he ain't really down with you anyway because he knows that you're using him for your own ego. For your own. So, if I F up, cool, it's only you. You weren't authentic. You were coming to that dude disingenuous. 
put in the comments if you disagree. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> That's some of my thoughts on that. See, you explain <laughs> things so much better than I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't quite get my thoughts out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yes. Um, well, are we going to move on? To yeah, we are going to move on. Two. You know, the hyenas were thinking, this Nick, <laughs> nigga, please. Anyways, man, <laughs> let's jump to the next clip. And then we'll give you our thoughts and close out. Without further delay, here is clip number two. Yeah. Whoa. She had me effed up too. <laughs> Listening to that. Can't believe hey. I had to sit through that. But it is what it is. My, my, my first question to the audience, and you can answer this yourself. Is there any point in a committed, serious relationship in 2022? I've asked that multiple times. Mm -hmm. And I think it's not going to be the last time I ask that question. Mm -hmm. Where are you at with that? Is there any point? Because we see this all the time. It's becoming the, the norm now. It is. Mm. And it's not just from one race, although this girl in particular is black. Um, it's from it's modern much women now. Everyone. But yeah. Not scratch that. It's not just from modern women. You got women all 40, 50, 60. Exactly. Because that's when they start to get, when the comments, if you disagree. Sometimes people think, oh, they start to learn when they're 40. No, I say about 60. Ooh, ooh 70 to Ross. That's Depends, crazy. right? But you've seen the older generation women still don't get the thing right. Mm -hmm. In the Caribbean culture, they're called a wrongdoer. They just can't get the thing right. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Oh well, yeah. <laughs> mm. It is called that. You're mm. a wrongdoer. Yeah. You listen. Your initial question was What was your initial question? Is there any point in a relationship? Okay. A committed one anyway, a serious one um, in 2022? I'm going to say no. Because a lot of women are just not some of them are just not worth it. A lot of them are just not serious. They just think that they can um, settle down when they're 40, start at 40. So meaning finding a man at 40, having children at 40, everything starts at their later I, age. I hear you. I agree with that halfway. Okay. And let me fill in the other 50%. We did a podcast how long ago? Can't remember the name of it. The lady in that podcast said some dudes don't know how to sit at a table. Okay. I've mm -hmm. been amongst men that don't know how to sit at a dinner table, mm -hmm. need a bib to eat food, sociably, mm -hmm. unaware, emotionally, just don't get it. Mm -hmm. This is what some women have to work with, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you can understand why most men are invisible yeah. to a lot of women. And I know that modern culture, feminism has told women they can have it all. And the kind of guys that they should go for are only the top tier guys, which leaves out the blue collar men but those blue collar men are the guys that make the world go around and your society they grease the engine yeah. the white collar men are the ones that look good in a suit mm -hmm. and they're not really the men that make the world go around nope. they just look cool and they might make money in the office but we don't see when c19 hit those dudes were out of work mm -hmm. and the blue collar men we'll were in work, work and make mad pee even though their fingernails were dirty, right? Mm -hmm. But women look past those men. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Yeah, so when <laughs> I, was, I was talking in regards mm -hmm. to the women, I was going to get to the men also. Mm -hmm. So yes, I agree with you. Um, a lot of men do not know how to sit around a table. They are very unaware sociably as well. They just don't have a clue. And yeah. this is what a lot of women have to work with. They <laughs> awkward yes. or so hungry no, no, but so there, there's, okay i'd say men and women are sociably awkward yes and mm -hmm. men are ugh, hungry to rust they are hungry like a proper they have a pot belly and they're still hungry <laughs> they're thirsty yeah. hungry whatever name we want to yeah. call it yeah. they're very hungry and thirsty to get mm. some cooch right mm -hmm. so they don't know how to it's like ugh, no just that's not how you get women that's not how you do it. A, a woman lot, can a lot of women tell. women have to deal with those kind of men, though. Exactly. Unfortunately, 
So when I say women, there are some, uh, obviously I don't mean all, there are mm -hmm. some women who they want to settle down a lot later on in life where that's very unrealistic. And there are some women that are ready and will put in time and effort mm. to settle down at a decent time and yeah. want to have children and build with a man and everything else. But the guys that are out there is like, oh, who am I mm -hmm. supposed to settle down with? This sort woman, of this woman in this clip, she took the piss. She was having this dude drive her around, mm -hmm. Do look after her kids, take out the trash, give her food, pay bills. And then she had this other guy. She said she's going to give him what, the, the vacuum 3000. Everybody know what that is. So she was going to give him that, right? But he was saved under free food. Yep. My baby, free food. So she was the Tinder swindler, female version, edition two. <laughs> what do you think about that? Yeah. I put that in my mm. notes so I don't forget. Because I put, did you clock that? She said mm. she saved it in her phone. My baby, free food. Now, a lot of women like to do these sort of things. Mm. They have men for different reasons. You have one for food, one to pay a bill or two, one, one to, to pay your back car out. note, one to yeah. blow your back out, one to buy one that you really like shopping. Yeah. Exactly. And it's like, well, if this is the mentality of a lot of women, then it's kind of for the guys, the decent ones anyway. It's like, how am I supposed to wifey girls like you? Mm. So just like this guy's having the same how do you situation. Think, um, how do you think Thanos came to light? He probably F with a B like this. And you say, you know what? Let me get that gauntlet glove. That's and I'm going to get rid of 50% of the people. Mm -hmm. he, just he just chose, <laughs> you know? <laughs> he, he didn't discriminate. Yeah, you can tell I watch Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, in today's culture, right? Women view men as insurance policies. Mm -hmm. And it's the norm. And women believe that men just want coochie. For the most part, yeah, we want coochie. But I do believe men want actually, they actually do want relationships. Mm -hmm. But the quality of women that those men, those rational, cool, decent men have to pick from is scarce. Now, women may argue, listen, you ain't seen what we have to work with. I'm putting in the comments and I see what you have to work with also. Mm hmm I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, just because a dude is a man, he's perfect. Yo, yo, man, them nowadays, it's weak. <laughs> at least, well, at least, okay, I'll say this. And I'm, this is my final thing I'm going to say on this before I close out. But at least a woman, a woman absorbs. Yeah. And you can pour into that woman, literally. Mm -hmm. But you can pour into her and she can level up. Even, let's just say, a bad chick, an OF woman, which is only, and you know the rest, right? A woman that goes on that. But with a man, if he's simply an idiot, through and through, you can't mold him. There's no therapy, there's no whatever. He can be, manage his behaviors better, but he is who he is. Yeah. And that's what a lot of women have to pick from. Now, yeah. I know the fellas probably thinking, oh, like, why you say that? <laughs> If you know you that dude leveling up, this shouldn't concern you because mm -hmm. you ain't that guy. I'm just saying. It's so, just, ladies, it's not it's not it's not one sided. I'm just saying it from both ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your thoughts? I have a question. Mm -hmm. When in a relationship should you be allowed to go through each other's phones? Now, put in the comments what you think. Should you? Or should you not be allowed to go into your partner's phone or have the password and be able to go through it freely when you want to sort of thing and it's mutual some, as in you some can people go argue each phone. yes some people argue no for me mm -hmm. um if i put my phone down it's my personal thing but i don't have nothing to hide and i think if the guy is cheating or that's that situation. I think that that's the conversation that you should have. And I emphasize it on a guy because if a woman cheats, then she's no good. And I know, I know it's double standard. It's the truth. Put in the comments what you guys think. But I think you should, I think when coming into a serious relationship, 
you both should have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Even if that is uncomfortable, you should still have that conversation. Just see where you're at. So if he's going to cheat, make sure there's no outside babies. There's no STDs. There's no public embarrassment. Yada, yada, yada. And would the woman, you don't say some crap like what, you know, DJ Envy's wife said, you know, oh, he doesn't please me. Why are you putting your personal information you know, just like out Jay there, does well. just to sell a book, I, exactly. So mm -hmm. I'm saying there's levels to this ish. Definitely, that's just my thoughts on that. I don't know what you want to close out of. I hope, I hope this is a positive. This is a good podcast today. What do you What, what do you want to close out with? Um. Well, should you go through each other's phone? Like I, I like you said, it's a conversation to be had. Um, I guess it's an agreement. You know. Mm -hmm. Do you both feel comfortable doing that or at least have each other's pin? Not necessarily <laughs> go for it, but I have your pin maybe, number. Maybe some people got some shit to hide. It, there you go. <laughs> oh, no. For me personally, I think if you mm. don't want, I understand it's your personal property. Mm. You both have one. It's your both. It's both of your personal properties. Mm. But if you're not hiding anything, then what's really the problem? Mm. I, personally, that's just what I, I think. I hear you. Let's leave them to ponder that. <laughs> and that being said, we're closing out on a positive note. Thanks for joining us. Yep. We out. Peace.